William Barker was born in a log cabin near Dauphin, Manitoba in 1894. With the outbreak of World War I, Barker stepped up to serve his country. He volunteered and transited to Europe with the Canadian Expeditionary Force as a member of the 1st Canadian Mounted Rifles. Though he served in the trenches for several months, his eyes looked ever skyward and he longed to be an airman. He got his wish in 1916 when he joined the Royal Flying Corps, initially serving as an observer and though it was rare, shot down two enemy aircraft. He was awarded his first decoration, the Military Cross, for his role in calling artillery fire onto a force of 4,000 German infantry. Barker earned his pilot's wings and in 1917 was posted back to the front with number 15 squadron. He continued to earn victories and decorations, driving down enemy aircraft. He developed an innovative method of attacking heavily protected enemy balloons using a two-pronged attack one aircraft serving as a distraction to draw enemy fire, whilst the other destroyed the target. Barker displayed strong leadership, always looking out for the new men in the squadron. And amazingly, not one wingman who served with him was lost to enemy fire. He flew as a scout pilot between 1917 and 1918 in both France and Italy, and during this time claimed an amazing 46 victories. In 1918, Barker was transferred to command the Air Combat School at Hounslow Heath in England. He convinced his superiors that he needed to observe current air tactics over the Western Front and was granted a 10-day period of attached duty in France. On October 27, 1918, the last day of his attachment, he took off in his sop with snipe on a solo patrol over the front. During this patrol, Barker engaged multiple German formations in a rolling battle. Despite losing consciousness twice and sustaining three leg wounds and a shattered elbow, he shot down four enemy aircraft before crash landing. This engagement earned him the Victoria Cross, and he ended the war as the Commonwealth's most decorated war hero. Following the war, Barker formed Bishop Barker Aeroplanes Limited with another famous Canadian ace, Billy Bishop. On June 21, 1921, he married Jean Kilburn Smith, whom he referred to as the best person in the world. The following year, Barker rejoined the Canadian Air Force. He served as wing commander at Camp Borden, where he actively lobbied for the development of operational capabilities in the Air Force, encouraged innovation in aircraft armament, and was instrumental in the introduction of parachutes into the Canadian service. When the RCAF was formed on April 1, 1924, he was appointed acting director and retired in 1926. His return to civilian employment included a term as the first president of the Toronto Maple Leafs, appointed by Leafs general manager Con Smythe, who had served under Barker in France. He later became president and general manager of Fairchild Aircraft and, in 1930, at the age of 35, he died during a demonstration flight at Rockcliffe. Some 50,000 spectators lined the streets for his funeral, the largest national state event in Toronto's history. His final resting place and memorial is at Mount Pleasant Cemetery. Today, Barker College at 17 Wing in Winnipeg, Manitoba proudly continues William Barker's legacy of leadership, teamwork, and innovation, strengthening the Canadian Armed Forces and preparing the men and women of the RCAF for the challenges of today and tomorrow.